Hey guys, Christina here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I wanted to show you the drawing that I worked on for day 16 of Inktober. As you can see I'm still like 4-5 days behind with my uploads but hopefully I'll catch up at some point. Um, but we'll see what's going to happen. Maybe I'm just going to upload less than like 31 videos for um, Inktober. Um, but anyway, uh, for today's drawing, I wanted to use my white ink again, so I knew that I have to start with black paper. And every time I work with black paper, I always want to create something that's like a starry night or a galaxy, something like this. So I started thinking in that direction and um, I know I've done kind of a lot of drawings about stars and sun and moon on my channel, but I felt like um, I wanted to do something like this again. And um, I decided to work on the moon idea this time. Um, so I started thinking about uh, an interesting way to sort of represent the moon and I started thinking about the different phases of the moon so I googled them and I saw the images and I was looking at a lot of the tattoos of the moon phases and I really liked the simplicity of them and how gorgeous they looked so I wanted to kind of include as much uh, of the phases of the moon as I could into one piece so I came up with the idea to create um, there's a um, gorgeous girl that it's gonna be, like, I'm gonna keep her very simple, she's gonna be just a silhouette and she's going to have this really long um, white hair that kind of like wraps around and like kind of twists and creates those loops and in every loop I'll have a different face of the moon. So I sketched that really quickly. I was pretty happy with the way it turned out. And um, as I said, I used my white ink, just the white ink from Windsor & Newton. And then for the moons, I started off with the idea to make them silver. But the silver looked too similar to the white. So I decided to go with the gold again and I think that created a really really nice contrast in this piece. Unfortunately the white ink once again like I can't really get it to a point where it's really opaque so it looks kind of grey uh, on top of the black but actually when it dried fully it looked better than what you see in the video right now. And I added a lot of details with my white jelly roll pen. I added some random like strands of hair and uh, I added some stars in the background. Um, some of them were done with the white jelly roll pen and others were done with um, like a gold ink pen. And I also used a black fine liner to add some details. Uh, on her hair uh, because um, I was not too precise when I worked with um, the brush with the ink so I had to fix a few minor mistakes but overall I'm very happy with the way this turned out I really hope you guys enjoy it as well let me know what you think in the comment sections down below and if you enjoy my work please subscribe um, I would love to have you on my art journey um, but bye for now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.